Hey Hedgies, how's it going? Welcome back. My name's Jane Sarche and normally you'd see me making you guys one pot camping recipes in Myrtle, my Volkswagen camper van. However today, because we're doing a whole month of make ahead camping meals, I figured we better kind of start off in the kitchen. So today, it is all about the humble Cornish pasty. Now these things are infamous across the world. Inside here we've got a mix of beef skirt, which is um, from the underbelly of the cow. We've also got swede or turnip and potato and onion along with some salt and pepper. And then they're baked for about 50 minutes and they are insanely good. So I'm just waiting for these to cool. Then I'm going to photograph them for the blog post and the thumbnail. But meanwhile, you, me, Johnny and Myrtle are off to the Eden Project. Now the Eden Project is like a visitor attraction centre in Cornwall. It's built in a disused china clay pit. It's fascinating. It's so, so cool. If you're in Cornwall, would you please go and visit? It's an amazing place. There's two biomes made of massive bubble wrap kind of thing. There's um, a rainforest biome and a Mediterranean biome. There's a restaurant area in the middle of the two biomes. And the whole of this ex-China clay pit, which really had no other use. You can't really use this land for farming or for anything else. But the whole rest of this pit has been planted up with different areas and it's just such a little microbiome that they can grow all kinds of amazing plants down there. It's a fabulous place. You really must visit. Okay, I'm going to stop waffling. Let's take you to Eden. Then we're going to come back and you're going to see how to make the ultimate Cornish pasty. So we're about to head down to the Eden project. We're all parked up here and today is the World Pasty Championships. Let's go. So we're just wandering around the outskirts of the Eden Project right now because it's supposed to rain later. So we want to do all the outside bit first. And we are here, like miles away from the biomes and all I can smell is pasties. It's insane. So the Pasty Championships, this is their eighth year they've been running and you can enter from anywhere in the world, which is controversial because you know how passionate Cornish people are about the Cornish pasty. I think last year's winner was Australian? Or American. They weren't Cornish, that's all I know. So, that's the biomes behind us, but down here is like an event shelter, I suppose. I think it's up all year round now. But in the past, we've seen um, different bands here. We've seen the Levelers, who are my favorite band. We've seen the Stranglers, that are Johnny's favorite band. Oh, uh -uh, the Stranglers. <laughs> We've seen Motorhead, their last ever UK gig. If you're down in Cornwall and you want to see what's going on here, Google Eden Sessions and you'll get a list of all the events they've got planned this year and in the future. Very, very cool venue.
How's the pasty? Lovely. Is it? What makes a good pasty for you? Nice bit of stare. Nice bit of stare. Got to be a good bit of skirt, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Anything else? For me, it's the pastry. The pastry's got to be good. Is that good pastry? Oh yeah, lovely, lovely bit of pastry. Yeah. Oh, it looks handsome and well seasoned, of course. Oh, Needs a lot definitely. of pepper, doesn't it? Yeah. Good one. Johnny's just gone back to the car because I am in the Eden gift shop and I'm renowned for taking my time in here. So he's gone back for a little nap, I think. <laughs> How cute are those? So that was a lot of fun. I bought myself, well actually, I bought Myrtle a treat. I bought these really pretty little bamboo pots that are like airtight and I kind of figure for tea and coffee and that kind of thing. That would be very cute. So I'll put them in the back in a minute. I love them. And they would buy one, get one free, which was rather nice. I also bought some, this was very brave of me, some 100% cocoa chocolates. There's no sugar in it, but it is flavored with orange and cocoa nibs. So, a bit scared, cause like dark chocolate I love, but 100% chocolate, mmm, don't know, I'll let you know. And finally, I bought myself a darling little bamboo spork. Now, because they were so cheap and so adorable, I actually bought two. So if anybody would like this one, I will send it anywhere in the world to anyone that wants it. If you just say yes in the comments down below, and obviously if there's more than one of you, then I'll put your names in a hat and I'll pull one out and stuff, but it's like cheap as chips, it's only a couple of quid. I just thought they were so cute and I'm gonna put it in my hiking pack. So if you would like the other one, then leave your details below and one lucky winner will get a very expensive gift, courtesy of yours truly. Right, it is now, what time is it, Johnny? It's nearly four o'clock and we are in a minute we're going to head up to the youth hostel which is just above Eden um, and we're going to go and spend the night there which is going to be quite interesting because the youth hostel is in shipping containers. I'm really looking forward to seeing what these rooms look like. I'm very excited about this. So that's it. Let's head on and we'll see you at the YHA. Okay so we are up at Eden's YHA and that behind me, oh that is the shipping containers. This is actually the hostel. How cool is this? They're called snooze boxes. So this is us, number 302. What do we do? A little bit of that. Oh, and there we go. Welcome to our little snooze box. How cute. Oh, look. So we've got a single bed up there, single bed down there, a double bed in there. So there's a little hanging wardrobe here, little cubby boxes, there's a little safe in there by the looks of things, and that's the shower I'm guessing, and a tiny little bathroom, how cute! So we're all here, we're all settled, and I do believe that there is a licensed bar at this youth hostel, so we are now going to go and get some dinner and drink some wine, and you, if you're very lucky, you can come with us, let's go. Mo! 
morning all so we had a fabulous night's sleep in our little snooze box at the Eden YHA it was really comfy wasn't it Johnny yeah, it was very comfy it was really comfy tiny we're lying in bed this morning going we could live in one of these that was really cute so we've now left the hostel we're now back in um, Eden's car park because if you remember I went into the gift shop yesterday and I found these little bargainous canisters. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I'll film you a bit of footage in the back. They fit in so perfectly in the back of Myrtle that I had to go and buy some more. So I now have six of these canisters. I've got no idea what I'm gonna put them in them yet, but they're just so pretty. And they worked out at like £2.25 each. I don't know why I'm trying to justify my retail therapy to you, but I kind of am. Here's my lovely new pots in situ. I've stuck some labels on them too. So saucy, that's where I'm going to keep sachets of ketchup and mayonnaise. Brew kit, that's for Johnny's tea and sugar. Uh, bits and bobs is for bits and bobs. Scooby snacks because I like food and caffeine, the most important and the easiest one to get to. And I do have the sixth one, which I've labeled sleep, and that's gonna be things that I need at bedtime, like I always sleep with a sleep mask um, to cut out all light so I sleep deeper. Uh, things like earplugs, maybe, possibly, I don't know, lip balm, paracetamol, don't know, haven't thought about that yet. Um, that's gonna have to go in that bottom shelf, but as you can see, that needs a big old tidy up, so I need to get that sorted. But hey, my pretty little pots, they're pretty. I'm well pleased with them, what a bargain. Thanks, Eden. So we've gone and got all the inspiration needed to make our very own Cornish pasties, so let's crack on with it. So roll out your short crust pastry and then just score around a dinner plate, something around 20 centimetres across in diameter. And yes, I am using ready-made and ready-rolled pastry because I am horrible at making pastry. So I often don't even bother trying anymore. Okay, now in each circle, we are gonna add a third of the potato, a third of the swede, and a third of the onion, then top it with a third of the beef. Now I was always taught to add a little knob of butter into mine, then a good sprinkle of obviously Cornish sea salt, and the most important bit of a good pasty is a damn fine grind of black pepper. You really want to feel the warmth from that pepper. If you've got any beef that's all stuck together then try and spread it out a little bit and then simply fold over and kind of squash the edges together a little bit and then crimp. Now I am no expert at this as you can see but you kind of just work along from one side to the next and you just fold the edges over and there we are one Cornish pasty made. Two more to go. Now I'd certainly win no speed competition with my crimping, but it's kind of a fun thing to do. It feels nice, the pastry feels nice, and obviously I totally love playing with food. bad boys how good do they look so now we're going to pop them on a cooling rack until they're completely cool and very quickly I did make a cheeky little extra one with the rest of the pastry that was left over I didn't have any of the beef left so I've just put the potato onion and swede along with a whole bunch of grated cheddar cheese so um yeah I'm looking forward to trying this one I reckon it's gonna be good Okay, let me just cut it in half so you can see what's going on on the inside. And there you go, inside you'll see all that vegetable is lovely and cooked, the meat is soft and tender. So, let's have a little nibble. Mmm. Oh my God, that's so good. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and recipe. It's been really good fun to put together. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And if you're off on any adventures in your fans, then please do let me know in the comments. Have a brilliant week, friends, and I will catch up with you next Wednesday. See ya.